was watching a bit of TV early morning. Uh, all of a sudden, I heard a loud noise. So I panicked being in the house, and I'm like, hey, what's going on outside? There's a loud noise. Uh, anyway, I get to my gate. I see um, a blow on the foot parked on the side of the road. So I quickly look to the left-hand side, and I see, okay, um, genius rolls versus in the tree. So then I quickly panic, and I'm like, what's going on? So I get to the tree, and his car's on fire. So in the midst of me crossing the road, going to his car, I met a colleague of ours who was by the corner. He's a security officer for our neighborhood watch. And then there was another gentleman that was just standing on the side of the road. So the three of us just quickly ran. We managed to break his door open. We pulled him, we put him down. He was still alive. Then there's a girl that was in the passenger seat. She was screaming for help. So we were trying our liver best to break the seat belt, but we couldn't. Then the officer that was helping us got burnt on his hand. Then we managed to step back. As soon as we stepped back, after a few minutes, the car exploded. So when the car exploded, the other three in the car, we couldn't manage to take them out because of the explosion that had happened. So he was alive for about at least five minutes at max. The thing is, uh, when we got there and we pulled him out, we were worried about the explosion. So we pulled him aside, and then his best friend, Remo, happened to arrive at the same time. So as soon as he got there, he came to where he was. And then Genius just turned his head and he looked at Remo, and then from there he just closed his eyes. So at least about a good five minutes that he was alive. Tanzwasound <laughs> Like open the door, go to the Kwani Seuti to Aborite, but Tayeza uh, with the Miramoto and by a motor pair there were two wheels that um, went over the Jurau Achipinda Miyad, and it was really a sad event.